This video is about dividing whole numbers. So an example of the sort of question we're going to be looking at is 301 divided by 7. Now the usual way to do this is to draw this sort of shape. Some people call it the bus stop method because it looks a bit like a bus stop. This number 301, the first number, comes underneath and the 7, which is the number you're dividing by, that comes over here. And you say, how many times does 7 go into 3? Now, there's 7 things. How many of those are there in 3 things? Well, none. 7 doesn't go into 3 at all. So 7 goes into 3 no times at all. And if you put a nought up here, whatever number you had here shifts up here. It sort of carries over. So this number over here now is a 30. And the next thing I ask myself is, how many times will 7 go into 30? Now, if you're not sure, it's a good idea to write down your times table you're using. So if I'm doing 7, if I write down my 7 times table, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, it goes on beyond that, but you may not need it. How many times does 7 go into 30? Once, two, three, four times. Five times is too many times, so it goes in four times. Four sevens were 28. So to get up to 30, I go 29, 30. That's a remainder of 2. And that remainder of 2 comes here. And that makes that number 21. So now I say, how many times does 7 go into 21? And I can look down my list three times, exactly three times. So there's my answer, 0, 4, 3. In other words, my answer to that question was 43. We look at another example. 375 divided by 3. Again, we draw out the shape. We put the 375 underneath. That's the first number. Second number goes out here. How many times does 3 go into 3? Once. Exactly once. There's no remainder, no number to carry over. How many times does 3 go into 7? Goes in twice. Goes 3 and then 6. That's two threes. So it goes in twice, and there's a remainder of one. There's one left over from our six up to our seven. The remainder, what's left over, goes here, changes this number into 15. How many times does three go into 15? We count up three, six, nine, 12, 15. It goes in five times, no remainder. There's the answer 125. We look at another sum. We look at 804 divided by 3, we put this down, the 804 divided by 3, 3 goes into 8 twice, 3 twos are 6, so from 6 up to 8 we count on 7, 8, there's a remainder of 2, which makes this number 20. 3 into 20 goes 6 times, 6 threes are 18. So if I count up to 20, it will be 19 and 20, the remainder of 2, that goes here. And 3 is into 24. Now remember, if you can't do it in your head, write the times table down. This is a 3 times table. And I can get down to 24, and that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times. So there's my final answer to that question. The answer is 268. It's the number at the top. I'll just do one more example to finish. If I do... 215 divided by 5. The first number goes inside these lines. The second number goes outside. How many times does 5 go into 2? 5 doesn't fit into 2 at all. The 0 goes here. And what we said before, if we ever write a 0 here, this number goes here. So now it's 5 into 21. 5 goes into 21 four times. 5, 4, so 20, and there's a remainder of 1. 5 goes into 15 three times. Nothing left over, no remainder, so the answer is on the top. The answer is 43.